Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. We got here uh, Redis in the background. I'm going to show you a quick script uh, that I have or my added to my position and manager and watch list. So now what I can do is with the watch list, um, this one, it will not only, uh, this is all, I should really, come back to this okay so if you come under uh, youtube.com slash quant labs now if you're on my podcast just go into my youtube channel at quant labs you will find a equivalent hi everybody video with the visuals uh, there on the youtube channel okay so with that mind um, I'm referring to this video I just posted yesterday complete demo of latest automated watch list and position manager so we're continuing along from there so what I've done now it will go out and create what's in the database and create a spreadsheet for that so let me just show you that so you can see here um, it will create an XLS X I believe just uh, show you the uh, date so yeah, so this is the file right here. So if we go into open watch list XLS. Hmm. It's always problems. Watch list XLS. Okay, here we go. So here's the file. What we have here is um, the pair that was selected at, on the report. The time that it was added to the and the timestamp it was added to the spreadsheet and, and I've talked about in that video the number of uh, entry attempts. So if you watch that video, it's clearly explain that what that is. Okay, the next thing we want to uh, show you is the position manager. So if I run the position manager as such, position manager crypto three Python. So hopefully if I go back to look for the Excel S spreadsheets, uh, anyways, it's called positions. So there's our latest time right here, which is correct. Okay, so if I load that up, one up, uh, positions XLXS. Uh, if I get my act together here. Okay, let me do this position. Is it positions XLS. Okay, so that should work. So here, now instead of showing you what I was showing you um, okay so what we have here is we have our column need to change that to the character readable here's a pair here's the uh, original ATR that's calculated at that price which is this is the latest hourly close that I've talked about before this is the original up target and again to understand what I'm referring to, watch this video, which is called again on my YouTube channel or podcast, Completed Demo of Latest Automated Watch List and Positions. So as I said, we got the original ATR that's calculated. We have the latest hourly close. And again, that data comes from Binance. And we have the original up target that's calculated, the original low target. Then we have our soft target, the original up target, and then the soft target. So let me re rephrase this. So next time we run uh, the process I just showed you, this one, um, what can be expected is if our latest hourly close at some point goes higher than the uh, original up target or the so up original uh, or the up soft target depending upon our risk depending upon uh, our portfolio we can close a trade because we've hit our upper 
uh, range. So that might take a couple of weeks. It could take a couple of days. It could take an hour. Uh, just depends upon the price action. Now, it may not happen, but in order to protect our downside, what we've got now is we have the original ATR, um, and that is what we keep. So if the price then the hour latest hour to close falls below these prices, either the original low target or the original uh, low soft target, what will happen is uh, this, the, the system will close out the trade to protect the account and uh, the maximum you'll lose is whatever the ATR is set. So in this case, you might just lose just slightly under 7% or something around that if you factor that in, if you divide that. And this is dynamically allocated. So it's usually between 6 to 12%, I believe. Um, so if the price, again, falls below uh, the ETR calculating these original uh, low target and soft target, so that's to protect the position and minimize the loss. And that's the key to trading is to cut your losses ASAP instead of hanging on to them where your emotions will kick in. You hang on to that position, which is really a losing position. You may take much bigger hits. And that's where a lot of traders will fail. So once again, as I explained in that previous video, uh, if there is a ruling uh, position that has a running profit, it will just update all of these targets. It will also update the ATR as well. And uh, it will um, calculate uh, if the uh, price falls, again, if we have a running profit. So if we have a running profit where the latest hourly price runs up, uh, calculates all of these targets with a new ATR. So if that ATR with the updated targets fall below the latest, um, let, me, let me repeat that again. So we'll have a newly updated ATR, newly updated um, targets, all of these. So if our latest price then falls below our updated low target or low soft target, the system will close out the trade. So we will be able to retain the profit. We won't get maximum profit, but we'll get it maximum minus the ATR. Uh, so again, that again enables us to close out the position um, if the price starts to fall back. Um, and we'll be able to get those bigger profits. Not quite the maximum, but we'll be able to get pretty close. So that's how it all works, and you'll be able to run this uh, or be able to look at the spreadsheets as they get updated with the price, depending upon how often I run this uh, position script. Hope that'll help you out, give you a better idea how everything works. We'll talk to you soon. Later.